Sagittarius what is going on my dears it is Scorpion Reds Tarot I am back at it again yes indeed to let you know what is going on with you guys for the month of April 2019 thank you guys so much for coming through thank you guys for all of the like shares and subscribe and shout out and big hello to all of my new subscribers I love I love I love all of you guys thank you so much for showing me love and I am surely I'm hoping you're feeling the love right back. Thank you so much for the support. If you want to book a personal private reading with Scorpion Reds Tarot, you can do so by clicking that like. Um, not clicking the like. Click the like if you like the video. Excuse me. If you would like to book a reading with Scorpion Reds Tarot, click the about tab. There's a hyperlink that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. It's a blue link that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Go ahead and click that link and you can go ahead and put, um, book a personal private reading. If the video resonates and if you would like to leave a love donation, you can do so. My PayPal is in the description. All right. Let's get into the energies. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Sagittarius. I just took a deep inhale and I, my chest felt so free, like almost like I just ate something with some mint in it or something. Goodness gracious, Father, my, I feel like I can breathe again. Oh my goodness, I think I want to call this breathe again. Like Sagittarius, are you feeling like that you could finally breathe again, Sagittarius? My goodness, honey. Oh, I'm loving it, Father. Please give the sign of Sagittarius guidance for April 2019. Father God, it is, you know, the springtime. And you know, we are trying to spring forward. And we are truly walking into the doors of happiness, abundance, and peace and harmony. Okay, can I say that again? Peace and harmony. Okay, we leaping towards peace and harmony. Sagittarius, come on now. Listen, they don't even understand, Saggy. They do not even understand. Father, please give the guidance that Sagittarius needs to get to this peace and harmony and reach this success and finance, business, career, love, relationship, and their personal life and their endeavors. Just like everything that they want to reach and achieve, Father God. I feel like a deep desire just burning in their soul. Like, Sagittarius is in a competition with their self. It's just like, it's like, like, uh, I, I don't know why I just did that. It's like, I feel like Sagittarius is just like, man, I got to do this and da 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 blah, blah. Like, y'all are just serious. Y'all are just real serious. So, Father God, just please give the sign of Sagittarius guidance for April 2019. Look, I'm just ready to go already. I ain't even finished. Like, y'all are, are just, y'all ready to go. Y'all don't have time. I just feel like Sagittarius don't have time. Father God, thank you so much. Please give us guidance for Sagittarius in April. Thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons in, two, in 2018. Sagittarius, I feel like y'all are taking over my body right now. Say what you want to say. Father, thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons that we've experienced in 2018. It's taught us a lot. It was a lot. It was just a whole lot. And without experiencing that, we wouldn't be able to breathe and just be free right now. I just feel like we're taking progressive, progressive, progressive steps to our freedom. And right here is a picture of the city. I just feel like Sagittarius, it's like the city is mine. It's like, I just, I feel Sagittarius just saying the city is mine. The city is mine. So... Thank you so much for everything that we went through in 2018, Father God. Uh, please give the sign of Sagittarius guidance. And thank you so much for all the blessings and lessons in the past, present, and future. Please give Sagittarius guidance for April 2019. I feel something pinching me on my back. I feel like... Some of y'all might be having some back pain or something like that. Hardship. May I embrace what is happening right now. As baffling or as painful as it is, help me, God, to trust where you are guiding me. I am yours. I feel like um, Sagittarius feels like they have a lot of pressure on their back because I just had like a sharp pain like 
in my left shoulder, like in the middle of my left shoulder, um, and like my shoulder blade or something. I feel like y'all been care like it's just like it's been hard, Sagittarius. And y'all been dealing with change and it's been a lot of rainy days. But you got to understand when it rains and when it pours like that. And what type of fruit is this right here? Some fruit, listen, it's raining because some fruits are growing. Like you have to, it's like whatever fruit that is, the only way that it grows is like with floods or something. Like the whole ground has to be flooded, you know. Um, the soil has to have a certain level of saturation and like almost like the plant starts to grow like almost underwater or something and then like as the you know ground starts to suck up all of the the, the water and stuff like that it gives this plant you had to go through this you, you know what I'm saying this 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 fruit wouldn't have been able to bear if it if it didn't have these torrential storms like this do you understand what I'm saying that's the only way this fruit grows. It it doesn't it, it doesn't grow through just oh let me just put a little bit of water. No, like shit had to be flooded out. You know what I'm saying? And just certain things are not able to survive through floods. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I feel like maybe that you had an over flux of water in your life. Maybe you guys were dealing with a water sign. Y'all were having a hardship with the water sign, and you feel like your whole land is just flooded right now and it's it, and, and you don't even realize the fruit that is being bared right now may i embrace what is happening right now as baffling as painful as it is help me god to trust where you are guiding me i am yours okay diamonds are created through pressure <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? And I feel like maybe there's someone out there that name is Diamond. Diamond. Only diamonds are created. Pressure. Okay? The only way that you were able to grow and bear this fruit that is about to be given to you that you're about to harvest, you had to go through this hardship. Because everything wasn't meant to survive this storm with you, baby. Everything ain't meant to grow through this type of terrain. Through this, you understand? Everybody can't grow in this climate with you. They weren't meant to be here with you, honey. When them lands dry up. And that sun shines. And nature starts to really show you who is mother. <laughs> When nature, listen, and that's the thing, we don't understand how powerful nature is. God watches all the universe and sees everything. God knows when it's time to flood the situation. The chariot, forward movement, and successful movement. And the most important thing is being able to navigate those waters. I am seriously being urged to tell you Yem and Yah. I don't know if you know who Yem and Yah is. If you don't know who Yem and Yah is, you might need to find out who she is. Do you see her right there? That is Yem and Yah. Okay. She is the goddess. Excuse me. She is the goddess of the ocean okay she is the goddess of the ocean and I want you guys especially my females to understand that you guys are goddesses of the ocean that's the only way that you were able to like emotionally sustain and be completely emerged in this watery situation I feel like you Recently went through a situation where it was like a lot of emotional turmoil, a lot of tears. You see, you see these clouds. It was like a lot of tears. It was a lot so much. Like I said, that it flooded the land. Okay. The energies that come from your eyes and the tears, it has energy in there. It has your energy. Your energy fed the soil. Excuse me, which bared that fruit. 
and the energy that was in those tears that was fed and rooted into this ground, okay? You weren't, you're not playing to lose. You were born to win. You were born to survive regardless of what is being thrown at you. Y'all know how to keep yourself together emotionally. The number seven. Listen, the number seven. The chariot. Okay? Y'all know how to control y'all emotions and withdraw and contemplate. You know what I'm saying? And go deep within for your inner wisdom. That's um, the sign of the cancer. Cancers know how to walk people out and just like kind of go within and not show people emotion and you know, kind of had that poker face on. And I feel like that is most definitely, that is what Sagittarius has been doing. Y'all are really, really in control of y'all emotions. And y'all are in control of where y'all headed, the way y'all going. And y'all know y'all can't get there if y'all don't have y'all emotions and stuff together. You allowing bullshit to control your emotions and to just easily have an effect on you. And it's just like, nah, you know what I'm saying? May I embrace what's going on right now? Because guess what? Everything that's happening right now is helping me grow. And I've been working on myself. And I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be very successful financially. Do you understand what I'm saying? Those tears, listen, went in that soil and sprouted your creativity. You see that um, instrument, whatever instrument that is, a violin, a cello, I don't know, whatever it is. Whatever the heck it is. I feel like you are sprouting big business or just big creativity. Whatever it is, it's growing. Whatever you do professionally, have it be music, have it be art. Um, I don't know if you guys do crafting in some sorts. Like you make some type of artisan something, you know what I'm saying? Um, like you're, you're a chef, you make like gourmet breads or like artisan soaps or you do candles or you do some type of like basket weaving or whatever the hell it is, whatever your heart is, whatever your heart is, whatever your art is, it is growing into something very, very lucrative for you. You understand? And I told you. You are moving forward. You know how to withdraw from situations and say, you know what, it's time for me to move on. Okay? <laughs> you know how to contemplate and figure out what the fuck is going on. And you move forward and you were working on yourself. And not only were you working on yourself, you were working on your self-mastery, honey. And you ended up perfecting your craft. That This is someone that perfected their craft. And it's like you have an audience you have an audience of people that wants what you got, okay? That wants what you got. This is the six of earth. People are definitely willing to give to you. And they want to receive your art. They want to give to you. And they want to receive whatever this is that you've been working on, okay? Whatever this is that you've been working on, Whatever, I, I like. I, I don't want to say it's it's not a career. What a career is when you're working for the betterment of somebody else's pocket, where you're getting chips. You know what I'm saying? Out of the big picture, you're getting cents out of the big dollar. This is all of the dollars is coming to you. All of the dollars is coming to you and you got and this is like fixed. This is fixed. OK, so it's just like whatever you've been creating in your life in regards not to your career, but your profession, whatever you are good, whatever you have been perfecting your art. This is like a fixed energy. These people are going to be coming to you left and right, wanting to purchase whatever it is that you got. All right, because right now it's just like, I feel like you're no fool. You're no fool going forward, but I feel like you need to just have a little bit more faith, okay? I feel like you need to pick up the faith, okay? It's like, I feel like, I feel like, okay, this is what I'm getting. 
the zero, I feel like there's no one around, okay? There's no one around, okay? And you're going through a hardship. You're going through this by yourself. Do you hear me? And I feel like because of that, um, you are moving forward. You are working on yourself. Slowly, you're going to see these people starting to give to you. I don't necessarily think you see it now. But that is what's coming in the future. And when it comes, it's here to stay. I need you to put a little bit more faith into it. I need you to be a fool. I need you to be a fool. Be a fool about yourself. I need you to believe so much in the fact that this hardship is bearing a fruit that is so exotic. That is so rare. That is so precious. Like, what are those fruits? Like, I don't know what are those fruits is that it only can grow on a certain co uh, continents and a certain climate like you got it like it's almost dangerous to climb this mountain to even get this fruit and it's so expensive because it's so rare but yet it's actually like the um extract from it it can like cure cancer or it can cure like emotional like like people use it for like potions people use it for like modern medicine it's actually good when you eat it it's good just you know and it's in so much high demand because it's only a small amount of it that is produced every year <laughs> like really like i feel like I don't know what the hell y'all are working on, Sagittarius. That third eye. You not seeing the bigger picture. You, 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 you really not seeing the bigger picture. You need to start focusing and opening up that third eye chakra so that you can see that vision that God is, the picture that God is painting for you. I know that this is like a horrible experience which you just went through. May I embrace what is happening right now, as baffling or as painful as it is. Help me, God, to trust where you are guiding me, as I am yours. Your third eye, okay? That meaning you being able to see. It encourages you to be open and honest and communicate and speak your mind's eye. Do you see what I'm saying? So, your intuition... You know, I feel like you need to be able to tap into your intuition a little bit. All right. Once you tap into your intuition and like really open up that third eye chakra, you'll be able to like really take full responsibility and navigate these waves a little bit more better and not look at this so much as a hardship. Like you'll really have a like a more... You'll be able to see a little bit more. You'll be more encouraged about this process. Like you'll be able to really, really see that you're not being a fool at all. You're not being a fool at all. And success is coming to you. Listen, simply love. This is another six. Simply love. Harmony. Important relationships are coming to you right now. And I feel like that you might have a mentor that's coming to you that is going to shine a light and kind of get that solar plexus, you know, where that positive energy flow is kind of circulating through you, through your heart, mind, your body, and your soul. And it's going like, once you, once you are able to open up that third eye and you're able to see clearly and really get the true vision as to what is trying to grow and what the Lord is trying to produce in your life, you'll be able to get that harmony and, and, and attract the right relationships and have a nurturing bond with spirit and, 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 and with your higher power and like really begin to love this new life that this hardship uh, created for you. Right now, you're in a place of sadness and isolation. And you're, instead of you looking at this as a divine point in your life that's opening you up to like a new dimension of just prosperity, love, and abundance, and you're embracing it like that, you're embracing it like this. You are almost like in a dark space with it. And I need you to look at it right side up instead of upside down. I feel like you're really having upside down thinking. And you are... Instead of you being able to understand that God 
flooded this situation out because he created you to be able to survive these storms. You so busy thinking that you're going to drown that you're going to make yourself drown. If you just go underwater and just sit there and just balance yourself. Tap into that third eye like that. That that When you meditate and go under the water and meditate. You'll be like, hold on, I got gills. I didn't realize I could breathe underwater. Fuck, like what the fuck? Like, like you, you'll realize that you are so different than any other creature on this face of this earth. Like, and you are like the fruit that you are. The fruit that you bear is something of, oh my goodness. Like, listen, you need to deep, you need to, throughout this dark, phase right now what God wants you to do is dig deep and really seek kind of get one with nature get back to your roots get back to the foundation of the true essence of I want to say our people you understand whatever the indigenous people is from wherever it is that you're from I feel like you need to kind of like um if it's starting to get warm and everything like that, I want you to get you a blanket or something and some like bread or whatever and just like sit in the sit in the grass or walk around in the grass, like sit out there and just like kind of meditate and like maybe feed some birds some breadcrumbs or something and just like kind of just let the sun shine on your face and on your back and on your skin. Make sure you put on whatever protective lotions and shit. But I'm just saying like really get in touch with nature and just be out there and just be in, la in nature because right now you have been feeling alone but you're getting out of that. You're getting out of that and you're finally like stepping up this shit. That's why I'm saying it's like you're embracing the withdrawal. You encourage the withdrawal because you had to like sit back and contemplate and get your knowledge and wisdom together. Like you had to get your brain together. You had to get your emotions together. You had to get everything together. You know what I'm saying? And number seven, that's about spirituality. You had to get your spirit inclined to where it is that it needed to be. You understand? So you were embracing this a long time. However, instead of you being alone and like you choose, you chose to be alone. But instead of you choosing to be alone and, and be like, okay, I chose to do this. Let me seek and just figure out where I'm being moved to go. Like what, what the higher power wants me to do. You know what I'm saying? And just, you know, being called spiritually to grow. You know what I'm saying? And realizing how beautiful that you are. It's like, you're, you're like this. You see what I'm saying? You're like this. You know? You're not feeling alone in a sense that I chose this. You see what I'm saying? I chose this. But even though you chose it, you still letting it take you to a dark place instead of you being like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should be like this. Especially if you chose this yourself. You chose to free yourself from something that you needed to be free from. So you should be feeling like this. You should be rejoicing. You should be opening up yourself to the spirit. You should, you know what I'm saying? You did this so that you could get peace. You, you withdrew so that you could get the knowledge. You withdrew so that you could get the harmony and the wisdom. So you could contemplate and things. So why are you like this? Do you understand? Open yourself up. Open up yourself. You know? These are just challenging times right now. These are just challenging times right now. And again, this is that crown chakra. You need to understand. You need to understand why you had to pick up your guard. And, you know, and because I'm seeing that red in the back. I'm seeing this. I feel pinnacles. You see what I'm saying? But this is also protection. But I want to say protection of your pinnacle. You know, because I'm looking at this as a pinnacle for some reason and for you to get yourself rooted and grounded because you had to get you had to be aware of what the fuck was going on, you know, because it's time for change. It's time for you to adjust and be daring. You know what I'm saying? And be quick thinking. You had you had to figure a way. You had to figure out a better way. OK, you had to figure out a better way. So I did the other readings like this. So I'm going to do y'all's like this too, Sagittarius.
So let's figure out what's going on for my single Sagittarius. Ooh, Aries and them gonna be mad at me that I did not do this, y'all. I'm so sorry. I might come back and do a, a quick like 10 minute singles singles Ooh, did not listen did not tell y'all the fucking money is coming to y'all <laughs> whatever fruit y'all are bearing bitch you about to really make it rain did not fucking take listen i ain't got time to be fucking with you look 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 look, look. i ain't got it to do with y'all didn't I tell you this hardship is bearing a fruit that you ain't ever seen in your life that is so rare and that people are coming to you for your products. People are coming to you for whatever it is that you have been working on. Whatever it is like it's like making you an entrepreneur like about to make you a fucking millionaire or something like that. And people are coming to you like they want it. Like they're like you know well how much do you want for this? You know what I'm saying? And here you are with your product and shit like that like well you know like the six of coins that's like the merchant and they have something that they're selling and it's like people are coming and it's like whereas though you were selling something something for like maybe $75 a pop or something because it oh my goodness really but because you only down to like maybe 20 left of this product your shit going from $75 a pop went to $200 because you ain't going to be able to get no more of it until a whole next year. So, you know, and then once it goes down to you only, the, you you went from down to $20, now you down to $10. Now that shit went from $250 to motherfucking $750. And now, motherfucker, when you down to only five of them left, people have bid and they're like, I'll $1,500. Fuck that $5,000. No, $10,000. No, how about... I'm about to buy out. I'm going to give you motherfucking 50000 for the rest that you have. Fuck what everybody else is saying. You got five left. I'm going to give you 50000 for the rest. And I'm about to put my bid in. How much to just buy out your whole supply for next year? Y'all have to appreciate these challenging times. Y'all have to understand what these hardships and what they're going through and, and, and what you're going through and why you're going through and what it's creating in your life. If you're looking at it negatively, if you're looking at it in a pessimistic type of mentality, then you're going to wish bad luck on you in the situations. When it rains, it's going to pour and then you might drown yourself in the situation. But if you look at it like, honey, I need this shit to rain so that my soil can get fertilized so I can bear fruit because I need to make it rain, bitch. I need to make it rain, bitch. You calling to the gods. You doing a little motherfucking little African rain dance and shit. You like, hold on. Let me call on the spirits, okay? Let me, okay? Let me shit, okay, bitch? Listen. In regards to the people in relationships, family shit is getting on your nerves. Have each other's back. What is this saying? You're giving too many fucks. Give zero. They're still waiting. Do the shit that they asked you to do forever ago. Love the one you're with. Okay? And then that includes you. The stars fill in the blank. Okay, I don't know what the hell that means. Blank. Stop trying to control every damn thing. Stop trying to control everything. Let shit go. Don't be so extra. Okay. So, for the ones that are in relationships that they are committed in and y'all are just going through a tough time right now and you don't want to leave this situation these are for the ones that are in relationships that are going through something that are, their relationship is just having a hardship right now all right but they feel like they can survive the test of time i'm not talking about people that went through stuff and it's like no i had to move forward I had to withdraw myself and move forward in, the, in order to get this peace and harmony and like to be able to step up spiritually. Not those people. So family shit is getting on your nerves and you're giving too much of a fuck about a situation, you know, and whatever the situation is, there's somebody waiting for you to show them results, you know. 
They're waiting for you to show results. So at the end of the day, stop trying to control everything and just love the one that you're with. If they're asking you to listen, <laughs> let's put some of this family shit aside. You're giving too much of a fuck about that. I'm still waiting for you. I feel like some people are still waiting for you. To have a conversation and mend something with a family member or somebody that y'all are beefing with or something like that. And I feel like it's like they're still waiting for some shit that they asked you to do years ago to just squash this shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I feel like y'all might be possibly letting some family shit get in the way of loving the one that you're with. Because you trying to be in control of the situation. I feel like you might be trying to one up or just... Show motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I'm about to show these motherfuckers. No, fuck them. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then, like, your partner's like, man, but I asked you, like, years ago to just, like, please, just let this shit the fuck go. You know? To just let it go. To just let it go, you guys. And because I feel like some people are letting their pride get in the way. And they're not trying to let something go. I feel like it's causing an unnecessary, um hardship in y'all's relationship you guys i feel like it's causing unnecessary hardship let's get some further click clarifications let's reach me deeper let's reach deeper and see what he has to say about these challenging times somebody some challenging times about to roll them right into some damn money the hermit in reverse okay so for the couples, I feel like um, you guys have isolated yourself from a group of individuals in regards to this family. Okay, this family unit. Um, it's not someone in y'all's house. I feel like on weekends, like when the kids go with the mother or the father or somebody to um, like the mother or father's house, the other parent always stays the other person always stays behind because it's just like y'all motherfuckers stress me out like okay like i don't like being bothered with y'all you see how this person is in his bathtub but they got their shoe on they always feel like they gotta be set on ready set on ready to twist the bitch up <laughs> set on ready to twist the bitch up like spaghetti set on ready and they're like, y'all motherfuckers is not about to do me. Because I'm about to come on out. I will come on out on that ass and I will hop my ass about this motherfucker tub. Okay, and act like a thug. Do you hear me? <laughs> listen, listen. Sagittarius, y'all need y'all too gangster. I can't deal with y'all. But I really feel like... I feel like... I feel like it's time for you to come out. It's time for you to come out and stop trying to control everything and just kind of love the people in your environment and just try to find a, a way to embrace what's happening right now. As baffling and as painful as it is, you know, say to God, help me, God, to trust where you are guiding me as I am yours. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's time for you to come out of being isolated with this person, but just sit back and get your mind together first before you just jump out there and just say some crazy ass shit that might make the situation worse. You understand? So singles. Let's see what the singles got to say. Clarify the money signs. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. The four cups. I feel like y'all not paying attention. Y'all, I feel like y'all about to miss a, 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 a y'all tripping. Y'all fucking tripping like shit right now, bitch. Y'all, I'm about to come reach through this thing and, and smack y'all behind the back of y'all fucking neck. Listen, y'all are not, y'all are, it's something else. Oop, and I'm dropping it. Like, y'all about to drop the ball. Y'all about to drop the ball on this money that's about to come through. Y'all about to fucking miss it because you too busy licking your wounds from this hardship. Thinking that you about to drown and you is about to drown because like some like somebody is trying to communicate with you and offer you something. A page of coins. This is something like a brand new opportunity that like if you really sit back and plan and work on this and like really put your heart into it and really invest your time 
and like really get your excitement like i feel like this hardship is instead of you embracing it and understanding that this is about to create something very lucrative to you that you should really invest yourself in that it'd be awesome for you like it should be awesome for you you about to miss this shit because you too busy focusing on some matters of the heart or something like i feel like you are like almost drug induced in a drug induced state emotionally about something where it's like you're not able to focus and pay attention to what is being offered in front of you like whatever is being offered in front of you whatever this this situation is this financial situation is being offered to you it's like something that's possibly going to make you a millionaire but because you two look at this woman she is sitting back looking at the water Y'all may be focusing on some memories or something emotionally from a fucking water sign. Y'all are completely about to miss what is offered in front of y'all. And it's just like, it's like somebody's offering you, offering you something financially and you're about to miss it. Because it's like you're not jumping on it. You're not accepting it and you're not, not accepting it. You're just kind of bullshitting and you're about to completely miss. You're about to completely miss this, this offer. This 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 situation that's about to make you very successful. Tripping on some some shit that should be bearing you fruits of success, not bringing you more hardship. But because you're focusing on the hardship, the Lord and the universe is going to give you what you're focused on. If you focus on success, you'll focus. And the Lord will bring you more success. If you continue to move forward and continue to work on yourself. Like I said, you're going to be almost a millionaire. People are going to be chasing you down. So don't be a fool. Like, do not be a fool. Please clarify love for the singles. Thank you so much. Oh. Do not reconnect. Ah, oh, yes. Do not re-fucking connect with this person do not reconnect, okay, with whoever this person is from the past that you, you deem is your soulmate. Do not reconnect with this person. I feel like this person that you, for whatever reason, I feel like for whatever reason, you feel like this person is your soulmate and it's not. Why would you be going through this hardship with this person? You still look at this person as your soulmate? Or are you not going to reconnect with someone that you thought was your soulmate and you open it up the door for your soulmate? I hope that that's what this means. Because for the smart ones, that's what that means. Okay? For the smart ones, that's what that means. And you're not focusing on, you know what I'm saying? You're not focusing on someone that you don't need to reconnect. And like some pe sometimes people glorify people. And it's like, Sometimes people give people too much credit. That's my twin flame. That's my soulmate. No, that person's a jackass. <laughs> so, you are what you eat. Okay? If you eat jackass and you parlay and you lay with a jackass, what does that make you? Okay? So, don't sit there and about to miss something that could change your whole motherfucking life. Because guess what? If you jump into this arena right here. You jump into this arena right here, would you even be attracting these type of motherfuckers here that would bring you a hardship? Would you even be attracting that put you on a whole totally different playing field? That put you on a whole totally different tax bracket? These idiots ain't even, they, they know that they can't even, they can't afford to be around you. Embrace the new. Embrace what is happening now, the changes and stuff. This shit's going to dry up. It ain't going to be forever. Do not miss this opportunity that could change your whole fucking life. And that could really bring a soulmate. Listen, really bring a soulmate to you. Honey, wake up. For my couples, there's deception going on. There's deception going on. And I feel like. This mental stress, this mental turmoil, because for y'all to be like this about this situation, there's something going on and there's something going on. 
there's something going on in a sense to let go of control issues and they're like i can't there's deception going on i can't let go i can't let go because it's something going on and i'm gonna get the fuck to the bottom of it and you feel like family is in the middle of this shit i feel like sagittarius feels stressed and they, they be putting their headphones on and they block and they wall these people out because I feel like there's some deception going on and I feel like Sagittarius feels like the family protects this motherfucker. And it's like, stop trying to control everything. Let shit go. Don't be so extra. And I feel like God is trying to tell you, you know that there's deception going on. Stop trying to control everything and just let things unfold. Just let things unfold naturally. Let things unfold naturally. I feel like for some of y'all, y'all feel like there's a deceptive family member that y'all feel like meddles in y'all's relationship. And then at the same time, I feel like there's a group of y'all that feels like there's someone that's being deceptive and that is cheating and that the family meddles in your relationship by trying to cover for the person. But I also feel like there's a hating ass mother or a hating ass sister, a hating ass somebody that just always got their fucking foot in, they, in in your motherfucking suit. And you know, they be like, oh, that motherfucker put their foot in it. They asked me to put the foot in my suit, bitch. Okay? Stop trying to come over here and trying to tell me how to cook my own fucking soup. And you try to put your foot in my shit to try to make shit the way you think my flavor should be. Bitch, you know my flavor. Ain't that what y'all say in New York? Oh, you already know my flavor. <laughs> I love that shit. Okay? So I feel like y'all y'all New York bitches like, bitch, you already know my flavor. You already know my flavor. You already know what I'm giving. So don't even do me, bitch. You need to back the fuck up. People trying to tell me to don't control shit. No, bitch, y'all need to control your fucking mouth and stay the fuck out my goddamn relationship. That's what the fuck you need to do, bitch. That's what you need to do. Because y'all be getting in the motherfucking way and y'all are not allowing my husband to be a motherfucking man because y'all always meddling in our motherfucking relationship. And y'all got this motherfucker to tell me to chill out and to come to y'all and apologize and just be civil. No, bitch, you be fucking civil to me and stop letting these people get in the middle of our relationship. How the hell can you be a protector, be a provider, be... The things that I need you to be if I'm always battling with your fucking family and I'm always feeling like I'm losing and I don't honestly feel protected by you. So bitch, your family can go and bitch, you can go too. Don't do me because I'm tired of fucking fighting and battling and feeling like I'm in a competition with your fucking family. Fuck y'all. Okay? This is a water sign of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio man that y'all are dealing with. And you're like, I'm tired of you. I, I, I You know... I'm tired of feeling like I am be, I, you feel like you're drowning with this person. Like this person is an emotional ass motherfucking bitch at times. And then sometimes when you want them to show you their emotions, they don't. And you're just like, I'm tired of this motherfucking shit. Um, justice. I'm calling justice off with her head. You know what? Chuh, look, it might be time to go to court. You might be time to file some papers because I really do feel like somebody is tired of the three of cups. You you tired of motherfuckers being in the middle of your motherfucking relationship and making you emotionally unhappy. I don't know who these people is, but I did not allow them. When I married you and I signed these papers, I ain't signed up for your motherfucking mother, your sister, and everybody the motherfuck else all up in our goddamn shit. Okay? And bitch, if you cheating on me, clearly you're being emotionally fulfilled somewhere else. Them bitches damn sure don't need to be up in my motherfucking face trying to defend you unless they want to get popped. Because y'all bitches better know who the fuck I am is, bitch. I'm a fucking Sagittarius. And don't let the sweet taste fool you, bitch. Listen, y'all got Sagittarius got me popping the fuck off. Sagittarius, look who the fuck done piss Sagittarius fucking tur I'm tired of making the wrong decisions and always selecting the wrong cup. I keep choosing you over and over and over and over again. It don't matter 
And you know what? It's like, when I signed up to be with you, I didn't sign up for all these other things to be attaching itself to me. Like, when I got in this relationship with you, I ended up signing myself up with other shit that I didn't ask for. But yet, I kept choosing you. And I kept choosing you. And I kept allowing you to be in my life. Not no more, bitch. I choose me. Fuck you, bitch. I'm successful without you. And guess what? I'm getting way more attention now than I ever did get with you, bitch. Oh, honey, I'm being worshipped and celebrated like a goddess. Trust me. Because guess what? I'm on a money team now. I'm on a money team now. And guess what? Honey, you think that I'm about to be focused on you? I'm about to keep letting you come in my in my life and and I'm trying to tell you like this person is trying to like almost intoxicate you to keep you high at days and, and and confused so you ain't paying attention to what's being offered to you and that you can miss solid offers from other people. Oh no, bitch, you think I'm about to miss this shit? You can motherfucking miss me. Miss me with the bullshit. Please miss me with the bullshit, okay? Cause at the end of the day, there will be no reconnection with this. Because guess what? I'm breaking up with you. I'm filing papers. So we will be in the justice system. There will be justice. You hear me? So if y'all are not married, oh, some people might be going to file some child support. Because guess what? I'm not going to argue with you neither, bitch. Guess what? Won't be no making up here, bitch. Mm -mm. I'm going with the money team. And I'm going to attract to what's attracted to me. Because guess what? I'm moving on. I am soaring. All right, bitch? I am growing and I'm working on me. And motherfuckers want to give me <laughs> the best that they got. Baby. Whatever the fuck. I need a big singing. Yeah. I'm giving you the best that I got. Baby. Okay, let me stop. No, I'm serious. People's trying to come and get Sagittarius the best that they got. They're like, how much you want for this? No, how much? Like, it's not a thing. Listen, Ace of Wands is, okay. This is a delay in the new beginning. This is the delay. There's a delay. Why is it? Because y'all this fucking heartbreak. Okay. There's a delay in the in, in, in the new beginnings because you got to you got to when you moved on and you secluded yourself and you walled yourself out from this person. Seriously, block this person out of your life so that you can heal and move on. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because that's the problem. You're still struggling in this hardship. Do you understand? And that's that's what that's where you're gonna fuck up. That's where you're going to fuck up for the singles. You understand? I feel like you're still teeter-tottering. And this new beginning is delayed to you. Because you need to finish and go through your complete healing so that you can come the fuck out. I feel like for some reason, it's like you need to seclude yourself and completely move the fuck on and, and, and leave this person in the dust and be like, bye-bye. Okay. See you later. I see you in court. Fuck you nicely. Fuck you hard. <laughs> That's what you need to do. But you tottering. You teetering. You ain't believering. Okay? Bitch, you ain't believering in this new beginning that's about to come to you. You are still suffering from heartbreak. You are allowing this to, like I say, create more of a hardship for you. Because I feel like it's taking a long time for you to heal from this. All right? You are not, it's, it's, it's not allowing you to be emotionally fulfilled at this moment. Because I feel like you almost nurse this. You nurse this. And it got, and it, it's like you nurse this heartache. And it's time for you to fucking, it's time for you to wake up. Number one. And realize that you about to miss. I promise you, you're going to regret this for the rest of your life. Focusing on something that ain't even focused on you. Something that's just going to break your heart again and again and again and again. Stop focusing on that. Because it shouldn't even be here. Only thing I should be seeing is money, money, uh, uh, prosperity, abundance, this, this, and that. That's all I should be seeing over here. Especially when something like this is being offered to you. Not you about to miss an offer. Not you being dazed and confused and high and drunk and you know what I'm saying? Like, 
not paying attention to what's being offered to you because your your emotions is come on now it's time to get this shit together listen i love you guys sagittarius it's time for me to go because you already know actually 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 Give Sagittarius some additional guidance and love for my singles. Not all my shit. All my shit. It's time to refocus, okay? Make a decision. Make movements. Stop sitting at this crossroads. Pick a choice. Either you're going to go back or you're going to move forward. Make a decision and make movements. Refocus. That person is not your divine masculine. I told you that. Didn't I tell you that? This person has a lot of deep, dark shadow work that they need to do. All right? So, the answer is yes, even though... <laughs> even though the answer is yes. <laughs> this was in the reverse. But there's a the, the answer is yes and the answer is no card. So, listen... Like I'm saying, I'm, this is confirming, yes, that this is not your divine masculine. And this person has some deep, dark shit that they need to work on. The answer is yes, okay? The answer is yes. This person is not seeing you as the divine feminine, okay? This person does not see you as the divine feminine. Because if they did, they wouldn't be doing the dumb ass shit that they did. This is not your soulmate. Stop glorifying this person. Stop giving this person more like, some people, like, be really, really, no, but this person and blah, blah. Man, fuck, this person is an idiot. Like, stop sending if they're giving this person more credit than they deserve. This person ain't shit. Give a fuck if it's the father of your kids. I don't give a fuck who it is. If it's the mother of your kids. I don't give a fuck who it is. Glorify bullshit. That's what their problem is. People be too busy pacifying them and glorifying bullshit. That's why they ain't learn nothing. That's why they too busy doing the bullshit that they doing. Don't let nobody bring no goddamn bullshit into your life. What is this? Offer. Okay? There is an offer that is coming to you, Sagittarius. Okay? Like I said, you are going to be very triumphant and successful and you're about to get a lot of attention. There is going to be an offer that is going to be delivered to you. Are you prepared to take it? Or are you not going to be a fool here? Are you going to go on your faith? Are you going to not trust your faith? I told you you're going to be successful. I told you people are going to be offering you a lot. Because you got a lot of attention going on right now. Because I think people admire your strength. The fact, that you can grow, the fact that you can grow through a flood, they ain't never seen nothing about it. They ain't never seen nothing like this. They've never seen nothing about anything like this. And they want to offer you something. And they want it. Are you prepared or are you going to be scared? Sagittarius, I love you. I hope you enjoyed this reading, you guys. Listen, I'm sending you love and light. If this video resonated and if you want a personal or private reading, you can go ahead and do so by clicking that About tab. There's a hyperlink that says Scorpion Reds Tarot and simply book me. And you can click that link and I'm all yours. If this video resonated and you want to give a love donation, you can do so. The PayPal is in the description. I love you. See you guys in the mid-month.